Ladies and gentlemen, what is up and what's going down? It's Dizzy One here, bringing you a new series to the channel, Pokemon Fire Red version. And basically, we're doing a randomized Nuzlocke. And if you don't know what that is, it is kind of just an amplified version of Pokemon. So if you haven't already, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe because we got a lot of stuff planned out and it's going to be intense. It's going to be crazy. This is the series that's going to start it off for us heading into 2018 but with that being said let's go and get started in this video right now we don't want to waste your time over here on the Disney one gaming it's it's crazy it really is but one thing i do need to get out of the way is all of the rules of a nuzlocke now the first rule is you can catch only the first pokemon that you encounter on every route so if that pokemon faints or it runs away you're not allowed to try to catch any other pokemon but there are some exceptions the first one is called the dupes clause, in which basically you, if you have a Pokemon in your party or PC that is exactly the same, you are allowed to re-encounter. Also, if you encounter a Pokemon of the same species in the same evolutionary line, you're allowed to re-encounter. That's called the species clause. And if you run into a shiny, you are also allowed to catch that Pokemon just because it's so freaking rare to run into a shiny. Now, the second rule of a Nuzlocke is if a Pokemon faints, it's considered dead. If all your Pokemon faint in your party, then it's pretty much game over. You lose you lose the whole game. You, you're not allowed to do anything else. That's game over. That's where you stop. Number three, you must nickname all your Pokemon. And I suck at nicknaming, but it's supposed to give you a closer bond to your Pokemon, so why not? We're keeping Professor Oak waiting, but we have one more rule, and that rule is the Nuzlocke does not start until you get your pokeballs because it's not fair to enforce one rule if you can't enforce another so let's go ahead and get to this video right here we've done a lot of talking i'm so hyped so excited and i don't think i want to do voices we'll, we'll we'll give you a test of how my voice sounds when i try to do other impressions so let's go ahead and do that right now let's get started into this game hello glad to meet you welcome to the world of pokemon my name is oak People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor and the text is so slow. Is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some reason, peep Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon. Alright, Professor. But first, tell me a little about yourself. Alright, so we're gonna be a boy because, hey, that's what I am. I am assuming my own gender right now. Let's do it. Let's begin with your name, and I'm going to go with Dizzy, because this is Dizzy Gaming. I am learning how to use the controls a little bit. I still don't know where the select button is on the keyboard, but the start button, I know where that is. I know where the speed up button is. Yes, my name is Dizzy. This is my grandson. All right. Well, we know that. Let's go name him um, something fire-related, because we're playing Fire Red. And let's just name him Fuego, the Spanish word for hot. Uh, fuego? Maybe that's how you spell it? I don't know. We'll find out later, but there you go. Fuego is his name. Er, was it Fuego? That's right. I remember now. His name is Fuego. That's my Professor Oak voice. It's completely horrible, and that's kind of really why I don't want to do it. Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures. Pokemon awaits. Let's -a go! It's -a me, Mario. All right, we're starting off our journey in our room. Of course, we're gonna have to get the obligatory potion out of the PC because hey, why not? That's what we do. And one thing I do want to do before we continue on this adventure is let's go ahead and go to options. Put it on fast battle scene on shift. Should we make it harder on ourselves? Ah, no. I don't want to do that just yet. But let's go and use... Ooh, this one looks nice. But this one will match our layout a little bit better because it has a little bit of green in that layout. So we'll have a little bit of green on this right here. But that's about it right there. I'm going to have to learn the controls for you guys. I will get better as time goes on. Here's the speed up button. And it's kind of difficult because I got to press the, the tab button um, and hold it down. But let's go talk to our mom right now. Oh, all boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. <laughs> All right, well, our mom apparently watches a lot of TV, and I know that for some reason, if we go to the professor's house, because I had to test it out, um, it won't 
work. But I made sure to do a new randomized save so I don't know anything about this at all. I just made sure that the Pokemon were indeed randomized and I, I did it again just to make sure everything's different. It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. All right, Professor. Let's get it started. Guys, I'm so excited for this series. Like, you don't even know. It is gonna be insane. It's a totally new style of recording for me because normally I record after the game is already over. So, it's kind of weird, but uh, let's give him a voice. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Fuego, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Man, his own grandpa don't like him. There are three Pokemon here. Ha ha ha. Held inside these Pokeballs when I was young. I was a serious trainer. But now in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go on. Choose. All right. There we go. Hey, Gramps, no fear. What about me? Be patient, Fuego. You can have one, too. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get our first Pokemon. I'm so excited. All right, let's go ahead and let's do this. Let's see what we got. We got Bulbasaur. No, 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 no. We got a slacking. Guys, guys, guys. All abilities are randomized. This is going to be insane if we end up choosing slacking because all abilities are randomized. Normally, his ability sucks. It makes him useless every other turn. But I made the abilities randomized just to make this... Let's play this walkthrough a little bit more interesting. The types are all the same. The moves are all the same. It's just the abilities because the abilities, you can kind of get a grasp of what it is. And anyways, oh my goodness, that's crazy. Slacking is going to be boost if we decide to go with slacking. But let's go on and keep choosing. We can we can go ahead and get a Wobbuffet. Um, huh. Uh, I mean, no, 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 no. I don't think we're going to go ahead with Wobbuffet. Oh, this could be a fan favorite because it's an, it, it can turn into an Arcanine. But we'll need a Firestone, so I'm not too sure about that because I don't know how long it'll take us to get a Firestone. So I think I'm going to have to go with Slacking. And I'm not doing a Choose My Starter episode because I don't have a following on the Pokemon community yet. Yet. But... We're going to go ahead and choose this guy right here. Let's go with Slacking, and we're going to nickname him, uh, since he's our first Pokemon, let's go ahead and nickname him Capitan. Uh-uh. Bapitan? No, no, no. Let's go with Capitan, and I need to get used to this a little bit, but guys, bear with me. It's the first episode, but we will get there, and there you go. Capitan is his name. Slacking, the Capitan, or Capitan the Slacking. Hallelujahs. Uh-oh. Who's he going to choose? Please don't choose Wobbuffet because Rival keeps their starter. And he decides to go with a Growlithe. I'll take this one then. Fuego received the Growlithe from Professor Oak. And we're about to just beat him down. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Wait, Dizzy. Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on. I'll take you on. All right. Well, our first Pokemon battle. And we are Pokemon Masters, if you don't already know. Come on now. You... You already know! We got this! Let's do it! Send it out, Growlithe. Come on, boy. You coming up against my slacking, my capita- Professor. 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 We are professionals. We don't need to listen to that. Come on now. Hurry up. Hurry up, bro. Feh. Sore. Alright. Let's go check our Pokemon real quick. Oh my goodness. Professor. Chill pill. Summary. Bold nature, I don't know what the natures are. I know they, they have to do with your attack, defense, special attack, and all that stuff. But apparently, maybe our defense goes higher and our special defense goes lower. Serene Grace. Oh my goodness. So, added effects on Pokemon moves, I believe. Get, oh my goodness, that's absolutely crazy. So, yeah. Flinching moves have a higher chance of flinching, blah, blah, blah. And uh, there's his moveset. Slack off, Encore, Yawn, and Scratch. That's nice. I like it. I like it a lot. But let's go ahead and just destroy this man right here. Boom. Oh my goodness, Professor. We know what's going on. We're, we're, we're the masters, man. There you go. And we're going to scratch him off again and knock this Growlithe out. Let's get our first victory. Of course, if we did faint right there, it would not have mattered because we don't have Pokeballs yet. So the lock has not started. But guys, as I was saying, this is a new type of recording style for me, so I have to get used to it. have to get used to talking a little bit longer, because these are going to be 25 to 30 minute episodes. Maybe except for the first one, that might be a little bit longer, but okay, I'll take- Oh, 
Okay, I'll take my Pokemon battle to toughen it up. Dizzy, Gramp, smell you later. Who says smell you later? Like, not even in the 90s when this game came out did they ever say smell you later. But I'm pretty sure that we were healed up by the professor. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, shoot, he has an item. How do we know what item he has? Let's take it from him. And he received... Oh, we got a Poke Doll. Awesome, sweet. So that's great. But we don't have running shoes yet, and that kind of sucks. I really don't want to test out to see what's in this route. I just want to go through it as much as possible. Um, I don't want to see as much... Oh, there we go. Okay, well, we're going to see a Pokemon in this route anyways, and it's an Aggron. Okay, this is going to suck if we end up having to face an Aggron. But, I mean, it might not because, hey, we could scratch, and that does absolutely nothing. Um, okay, well, this is going to take too long for us to actually defeat, so let's run away. That would have been some nice experience, but there's an opportunity to get an Aggron over here. It'll take time, but we do have Slack off, so yeah, that's good. That's good for us. And and there are Mews in this route! Oh my goodness! Okay, remember when Ash Ketchum, uh, he ran into that ho -Oh in his first route, and he just, like, he saw it, but he didn't know what it was. This is basically our version of ho -Oh. It means our journey is going to be blessed we're going to be Pokemon champions in the years to come. I mean, or at least in the hours to come for you guys watching this. But yeah, this is going to be crazy. Let's go and knock the Mew out, get some experience. These don't count as our encounter. So only 27 experience from that Mew. That's crazy. But there we go. We're level six. We're leveling up. We can't run. Of course, we can always use the speed up button. But I don't really want to do that unless it's like a really boring part of the game or if it's, uh, what's it called? What am I trying to say? If it's a grinding montage, uh, I just, I just don't want to use it as much as possible. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and go to the Pokemart, because I think that's how we progress the story, if I remember correctly. Yeah, hey, uh, you came from Pallet Town, right? <laughs> yeah, you know Professor Oak. His order came in. Can I get you to take it to him? There we go. We got Oak's parcel, and we're going to head back to Pallet Town. And do a little bit of something something. Thank you. Okay, say hi to the professor. That's great. All right, let's go ahead. And let's use that speed up button just because we can. And let's avoid the grass as much as possible. But we do have to talk to you because I know you give us a potion. So we can have two potions for free to start us off. And there we go. We got the potion. And let's do this. All right, please don't encounter any more Pokemon. All right, we're safe. And I just, I wanted to speed up right there because it's not really anything that we can control or anything. So, Wobbuffet is all alone on that table. And yeah, I'm a little bit excited. There we go. We got the parcel. It's had an order. Thank you. Gramps. <laughs> I almost forgot. What did you call me for? Hey, right. I have a request for you two. Oh my goodness. On this desk, there's my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Dizzy and Fuego. Why is your name Fuego? Take these with you. All right, so we now have the Pokedex. And of course, we're gonna end up getting our Pokeballs. If I remember correctly, there we go. We got five Pokeballs. Our lock has officially started. Oh my goodness. Let's get ahead and go on and do this now. All right, perfect. Thank you, Professor. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you. We trying to get up out of here. Thank you. I hate to say it, but you won't be in it. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you very much, man. That's really hateful. He has his own theme music wherever he walks. Well, we are going to go to Daisy's house or Gary's house or Fuego's house. But we're going to get that town map because I know that is how you get it. Before, I used to never come to this house and I never had a town map. The only way I'd know where I was going was because I was flying everywhere. But now, we got the town map. We know what we do. So let's go ahead and get this started. We now have Pokeballs, so let's go ahead and encounter our first Pokemon! This patch of grass, I don't want to go to it. It's unnecessary. It's unneeded. We don't need to go there. Let's go. Oh my goodness. We're not encountering anything. That second patch looks good. Hey, I was lucky. I was lucky. It's an Ursa Ring. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna have power if we can catch this Pokemon. Um, should I risk the biscuit? Guys, I think I have to scratch it. 
I hope it doesn't faint, but if it does, I mean, whatevs, okay? <laughs> so lucky right there. That was... Oh. Alright, let's yawn it. Put this thing to sleep before he leers us even more. He's gonna lick. It don't affect me, boy. It don't affect me, boy. Oh, one thing we do need to catch is a Pokemon with a different type move because... Yeah, that's gonna suck a lot. Because if we run into a ghost type, we're never gonna be able to hurt them. And especially if it's a trainer, this is gonna be over real quick. But it doesn't affect Capitan. You're asleep. Let's go ahead and try to catch you now. It's a good thing we have a Pokemon with the, the ability to have other Pokemon go to sleep. So we can catch them a little bit easier. I'll mash some buttons. Come on now, Ursaring. You know you want to be mine. Ouch. Well, I really would have wanted the Aggron, but I don't think we would have been able to catch it as well as with this Ursaring. So I'm going to keep mashing buttons. One, two, three. Oh, my goodness. Ursaring, why? Don't you love me? Come on, bro. This is what I hate about Pokemon, man. It's asleep. It can't fight back. One, two, three. Ha! <laughs> I'm turning into Super Saiyan level 9000, man. If we don't catch this, I'm gonna cry. Because it has like, it can hurt ghost types. One, two, three. There we go. We got the Earth Ring. Mew, thank you so much for the good luck. Whew, we got two normal types. Hopefully we don't run into a fighting type anytime soon. But we got it. We got it. There's Ursaring. And this guy looks like a brawler. But I'm going to go ahead and name him... Um, I don't know. Let's name him Oprah. Because he has that O that looks like Oprah's... Maybe we should name him Opro because he's a boy. But... Uh, Let's just go with Oprah. <laughs> Even though he's a dude, it's okay because he has that uh, that O that looks like Oprah's network. I, 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 yeah, that's what I'm going with. And I can't talk and do this at the same time. It's kind of weird, but Oprah, I mean, Oprah can be a boy's name, I guess. Well, we got Oprah. Let's go check out his stats real quick. And let's see what we can do. Summary. He is a hardy-natured Oprah, the Ursaring. All right, does he have any items? Does it say? No, he doesn't have any items. Okay, okay, attack, defense. Everything's pretty eh except his speed. Color change. Changes type to foe's move. Okay, that's pretty cool. So he's not really a normal type. That's kind of good. All right, I guess. It doesn't really change his moves. But scratch, leer, Lick and Fury Swipe. I like it. I like it a lot. So we got our second Pokemon. And we got to make sure to go ahead and go to the Pokemon Center to heal up. What's another Pokemon we could have encountered on this route? Oh my goodness. Guys. Guys. We could have had a Tyranitar. Let's go and scratch him. I know he's a rock type. See how much it does. It does a decent amount. He's going to Screech. I need to get out of here. I really don't want to mess with that. Because he's going to lower our defenses a ton. But we could have had a Tyranitar, we could have had an Aggron, a Mew, and we end up with an Ursaring. I mean, it's not a bad... Uh, it's not that bad, I guess. Uh, he's still power, he's a, he's a fully evolved Pokemon, so that's cool, I like it a lot. But yes, please heal us, for, uh, Nurse Joy. And let's go ahead and talk to some of these people. Pokemon Center Seal, you're tired, hurt, and faded Pokemon. Alright, perfect, great. And we can get another encounter, we do need to get some more Pokemon, so... No money, blah, blah, blah. I don't think anyone gives us anything. Awesome, sweet. Okay, great. Well, no one's going to give us anything, but we do need to go to the Pokemart just to make sure we get some more Pokeballs and some antidote, uh, antidotes. Because in this gen, you die from poisoning, and I walk too far. Uh, bye. Let's go ahead and get antidotes first. Um, let's go with... Yeah, two's good, I guess. So we'll go with that. Um, paralysis heal. Uh, we could go with one. I mean, it's not that bad. And we can go with two right here. And then we'll have enough to get 10 Pokeballs. And do they give us Premier Balls in this gen? 
I want to say yes. No, 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 they don't. Okay, so no Premier Balls, but we do have at least 12 Pokeballs in my, to my knowledge. Oh yeah, I have this notebook over here while I'm standing still. So you guys can hear it. Boom, turn the pages. So let me write down on Route 1, we caught Ursa Ring. All right, there we go. Now let's move ahead and let's get this Pokeball. I don't know what it is. It is a, a corn berry. <sighs> Disappoints. All right, well, we're here. Let's go ahead, let's do it. What route is this? I wanna say 22. Yeah, route 22. Let's write that down real quick. And let's go encounter another Pokemon. And then we're gonna go ahead and, I don't know if we should battle Gary. Um, it might be a bad decision. But come on now, give me a good Pokemon. Please, 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 I beg of you. A Grumpig. Okay, it's a Psychic type. I don't mind it. Another fully evolved Pokemon. I think we'll knock it out if we do decide to go with Capitan because his attack is just so strong. Let's go into this dude right here. And I think we're going to lick it. It is super effective. Okay. Okay, you got to you gotta calm down. Oh. All right, we're a Psychic type now. So now that won't affect us too much. But let's go with Lick. I hope it doesn't kill... That's not going to be very effective. This is really helpful. Yeah, boy. Go the lick. It's going to it's going to be super effective, but it doesn't do a lot of damage because it is a low uh, low power move. But there's another side wave. We could take that. Only one damage. Come on now. Come on now, Grumpig. <laughs> Never mind, Grumpig. Yikes, that was scary. Um I'm going to go ahead and put him to sleep just because I don't want to waste any Pokéballs. And it uses Flash. It knows just to give up. But let's go and yawn. Let's go speed up a little bit. There's the Psy Wave. Uh, let's go with the uh, Slack Off. Psy Wave missed. And let's throw the Pokeball. Let's go ahead and do our thing. Let's 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 stab those buttons, and it doesn't want to go. Um, I mean, we could end up with a Psychic type. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's not the best Psychic type, but it's a cool design on a Pokemon. And I really like it, but it's not wanting to go to us. Come on, one, two, three, four, baby. Oh, my goodness. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Okay, here we go. Grumpik, manipulate Pokemon. It can gain control over foes by doing odd dance steps by black. The black pearls on its forehead are precious gems. Um, I think I'm just going to name you Blueberry because that's what you remind me of. Or, like, maybe name you the Jabberwocky because you do odd dance steps or whatever. But, uh, I think I'm just gonna go with Blueberry. That's my final guess, I guess. Uh, let's go to Blueberry. There you go, Blue. And, uh, where's the B? Berry. No, no. Berry. There you go. Blueberry is his name -o. Oink, oink. Um, there we go. We got another Pokemon to our party. And let's go ahead and battle this thing right here. What is this? It's another Grumping. Let's see if we would have knocked it out. That would have been crazy. Um, I'm going to go write down Grumping's name right there. And let's go with a scratch. Would we have killed? No. Okay. Craziness. But now we have a Psychic type. We have a, a Normal type. And we have a, a Pokemon that just changes types no matter what. So... That's crazy. Absolutely amazing. We're not going to go ahead and battle Gary right now because we're not at that level. And I think we should just grind up. Grind up. We should grind up a little bit. We should grind up a little bit. Maybe we should get another encounter up ahead on the route ahead. And that would be really cool if we do that. But thank you so much, Nurse Joy. You are much appreciated. And let's go ahead. <laughs> Oh, no, I don't want to go in there. I, I I remember that house. It gave you nothing. But there's the old man. He's going to do what he do best. And he's going to give us a tutorial. All right. Come on, man. We know what you're going to do. In the original Japanese games, he is actually... Oh, he's catching a Scyther. He's actually passed out drunk. Um, but they changed it for the US version. Just because, you know, whatever. But he's not even going <laughs> to send out a Pokemon. He's just gonna straight up try to catch this Scyther. I'm, I'm gonna laugh if this Scyther breaks out. He only has one Pokeball. This guy is confident. He's cocky, dude. Oh my goodness. Look at that throw. Yikes. Ooh. 
Ooh, he's mashing them buttons. Ah! He caught it. Okay, whatever. You gotta nickname that Scyther, bro. Alright, well, anyways, he caught the Scyther. He did what he do best, and that's apparently just catch Pokemon. There you go, and he gives us the Teachy TV. And now let's go ahead and go to Route 2. Let's write that down real quick. Oh, something fell. There's Route 2. Let's go and catch our fourth Pokemon if we get lucky. Okay, let's do it. This patch right here. Ah, no, okay. Well, there we go. Eradicate. Um, another normal type. I'm not gonna say I really, really want this Eradicate. I mean, if it survives, we're gonna catch it. Uh, we probably should catch it either way because... Ah, oh well. Okay, we forfeit that encounter. We're gonna put a big X on our paper. But we do get experience. We're running into a lot of fully evolved Pokemon, which is kind of crazy if you come to think about it. But we could have had a Kabuto. Oh my goodness. We would have had an OP squad, dude. Like, seriously. Ah. There's the Harden. All right, we're not going to deal with this. We're not. We're just not. Let's run away. Uh, rock types are our worst nightmare because they do that. But let's... A vile plume. We could have had a vile plume and we ended up with eradicate and we killed it. Dang. That that sucks a lot. But let's go and just do a little bit of grinding to get up to where we need to go. Alright. Level 7. There's a bell sprout. I would have much rather had that as well. There's a surskit. I mean, alright, could have taken that, but it was a water type. There's that eradicate. Let's get you to level 8, and then we'll we'll do some training on other Pokemon as well. Alright, perfect. Uh, one thing we should do, probably, is switch our Pokemon, because that might really help us. Uh, are you level 8 or level 3? Okay, level 3. Alright, perfect. Great, great, great. There's that level 2 eradicate. Let's go with Fury Swipes. Oh, shoot. Go with Scratch. That's a quick attack. That really hurt. We could have had a slow king. Oh my goodness. We're switching out. We're switching out straight up. Oh, Blueberry has mail. We gotta go. Oh, we gotta go check out Blueberry stats. We forgot to do that. There's the yawn. Um, I don't appreciate it. I don't want to have to go back right now. So let's just run away from the slow king. There's a Meryl. I wouldn't have minded a Meryl. Defense curl. Come on now. We're at we're at we're at a speed tie. We knock it out. Didn't hurt us at all. Perfect. Great. Let's keep going. Could have had a Paris. Would have minded that Pokemon either. Uh I don't think I should waste my Um my potions. So there's a lot of Pokemon you can encounter, guys. If you don't already know. It's randomized. The, the normal Pidgeys and Raditas that you encounter over here, you don't encounter them anymore. So we get to level 8 for you. Let's go heal up a little bit because I feel like that's the, that's the necessary thing to do. Boom. Alright. Thank you, nurse. Much appreciated. Uh, let's go check out the Pokemon on this route because that's part of the fun of a randomized Nuzlocke. We could have had a Snorlax, but it's another normal type. And I don't need another normal type. Um, let's go with Leer. Uh-uh, 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 no, uh-uh, no, yikes, knock that thing out, get to level 5, boy, uh-uh, I don't want to go back to the Pokemon Center, so I'm just going to go straight up and do what I got to do, I got, I'm going to just, we got 4 potions, come on now, thank you, perfect, a Swabbert, My goodness, man. These these are just crazy. Mill tank, Another normal type. We're running into a lot of normal types early on. So hopefully we don't run into a lot later. But let's just scratch it, knock it out, get that experience. We'll get you to level 7. Um, I don't want to mess with this Snorlax at all. So there you go. Scratch it. Boom. Alright. And we're almost done doing our level up type of thing. And... Guys, I really want to face Gary. 
but I think we're gonna have to do that at the next episode after all this grinding uh, this episode's probably running a little bit long so yeah let's go do that there's a Cradilly I don't even want to mess with it and let's go and just get Grumpig up to where he needs to go all right what, what moves do you have? Psy Beam, Psy Wave. Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and go right here back into Capitan. And let's do it. There's the Splash. There's the Scratch. Knock it out. Level 4. Perfect. We're just trying to level up as much as possible. There's Relicanth. I don't know his moves. But I'll use Psy Wave. Alright. Well, let's use Psy Beam. Yeah, Psy Beam's way better. Alright. Knocked it out. We're level 5. No new moves. Perfect. There's another one. Didn't really hurt us last time, so there's a Harden. And boom! Knocking it out. Level 6. This is working out really good, guys. We're making good time right now. Um, hopefully you don't have rollout. Oh, we knock it out. Don't matter. Perfect. Money buckets. Easy. Peasy. Lemon. Squeezy. Uh, it's a Caterpie. I'm still afraid of it. <laughs> but anyways. There we go. There's that Swampert. And now, we have a special attacker. We have two normal types. One that can be any type it wants to be. There's that Relicanth, and let's knock it out. Boom. There's a tackle. So it could have hurt us all along. But we got you to level 8. Um, let's go back to the Pokemon Center. And I think we're going to end it off at this, this part of the episode. And the next episode, we're going to go straight into facing Gary, or aka Fuego. So let's go ahead and end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. This series is going to be out every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, if I do remember correctly. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much. School has started up for me, so do not expect a ton of videos. I'm actually recording this before school starts, so yeah. We'll see what we do, but thank you guys again. See you in the next episode. Adios.